The hockey community around the world discussing safety on the ice. Those gathering Sunday at the ice box in South Bend also talking about the safety of the game. For many, neck guards are top of mind. Absolutely do, and you know it's uh, obviously an unfortunate incident that happened, you know, a couple weeks ago. So it's, I think, really uh, woken people up to, to know that we have to protect our kids, and you know, maybe they're going to do it in the NHL as well. Neck guards are currently not mandatory in any American hockey leagues, but all three Canadian hockey leagues are now requiring them. Since Johnson's death, Washington Capitals All-Star and Stanley Cup winner TJ Oshie is now wearing neck protection, the first player in the NHL to do so after Johnson's death. Oshie told reporters after a recent game that, quote, I made this choice for my kids. I want to stick around for them. Most parents I spoke with told me their kids have already been wearing them. Yeah, my son plays, and um, we've always had it on him, so that's just kind of a standard equipment that we um, have all our kids wear. Our organization just came out and, and put a um, team-wide uh, mandatory. But in the NHL, they are not as common. Ice hockey broadcaster Seth Bennett told CNN he believes there is a, quote, machismo problem in the NHL. Jackson Rush, who plays youth hockey, says when it comes to wearing this protection, he sees more positives than negatives. I think that neck guards should be worn in the NHL. They can be uncomfortable sometimes, but it but honestly, it's worth it. So you do wear neck guards? I wear neck, yes, I wear a neck guard during games. According to NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman, the topic of neck guards will continue with conversations with the Players Association. A similar equipment change with protective visors took 13 years to officially be mandated. In South Bend, Sean English, WSBT 22 News. I'm Pete Byrne from WSBT 22 News. Thanks for watching. Here's another story you may like. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube channel for more great stories.